members of the Presidential Task Force, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, gentlemen of the press, again, our sincere apologies. We had wanted to make this three o'clock uh, realizable, but sometimes uh, because of the exigencies of duty, we keep getting it extended. Sorry about that, but in spite of that, I welcome you all to the briefing for Monday, 27th April, 2020. Today marks the 28th day of the cumulative lockdown order by Mr. President in Lagos and Ogun states, as well as the Federal Capital Territory. The Presidential Task Force has continued to assess the situation nationwide and an appropriate report has been submitted to Mr. President as well as the fact that the Honorable Minister of Health and the Director General of Nigerian Center for Disease Control have equally briefed Mr. President. It is expected that once a decision is made, the President would address Nigerians on further measures to be taken later today at 8 p.m. I urge all Nigerians to be on the lookout for the brokers. The Presidential Task Force shall continue to pursue the strategy of aggressive testing, detection, isolation, contact tracing, care and management. Similarly, non-pharmaceutical measures will be enhanced. Over the last four weeks, we have made appreciable progress, but we are not yet out of the woods because a lot more is required to be done. Nigerians at all levels must take responsibility for our actions adopt behavioral modification, ensure compliance with adversaries, and provide guidance to our followers and the youth. The situation in Kano is being addressed very closely by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control in strong partnership with the state government and guidance by the Federal Minister of Health as well as support from our development partners. Let me register the appreciation of the Presidential Task Force to the media for ensuring that Nigerians are kept very well informed about actions of government and for creating the necessary awareness. Similarly, I want to thank our frontline health workers and administrators again and again who have been working to keep every Nigerian safe. Your professionalism and commitment are well appreciated, and I urge you to continue with strength and vigor. Finally, let me remind all Nigerians that the fight against COVID-19 is a fight for all of us. It is only when we unite that victory can be assured in the next phase of this fight. It is time for us to individually and collectively take responsibilities for the next steps that we are going to take in the days and weeks ahead. I now invite the Honorable Minister Health to present his update. And I want to thank you most sincerely for listening. Thank you.